Hello, everyone. I would like to present you the work titled Object Tracking and Anomaly Detection in Full Motion Video. This work was conducted at CCOR, which is a Canadian research and development organization. Full motion video is a combination of video and associated metadata, which includes spatial position of the platform, for example, drone, and other data to enable calculation of geographic position information for video frames. The capability to perform automated target detection, classification, tracking, and anomaly detection on a full motion video could help in analyzing large volumes of data. Several algorithms were tested, investigated, and developed to automate object tracking and anomaly detection tasks. For object detection, we used YOLA version 4, which was previously demonstrated having very good detection accuracy with a real-time performance. Training was performed using 6,000 iterations on almost 23,000 frames. The trained model achieved average precision 54.4% performance. On the right, you can see an example with the detection results. In addition to detection shown on the left, YOLA version 4 can also classify different types of vehicles, such as car, truck, and bus. Among different tracking algorithms, such as Track RCNN, Tractor Plus Plus, and others. Deep Sort is a programmatic approach to multiple object tracking with a focus on simple, eff effective solution. The Deep Sort algorithms also has its implementation simplicity and ability to run in near real time. In a full motion video ca captured over highway with traffic, the Deep Sort algorithm was typically able to track vehicles for about 5-10 seconds without identity switch, switches. Please pay attention to car 3043, which after passing the sign changed its identity to 3055. To solve the problem of identity switches, an algorithm for persistent tracking in full motion video was developed and tested. The tracker considers, considers both short-term and long-term states. The main steps of algorithms is to select and analyze target, which can be predefined by analyst or can be fed from automated detector, an object window shown as a red rectangular. Short-term tracking is the second step, using local search with green window by applying a template matching and comparing structural similarity index for object and template. In the case of target disappearance, the search is performed to redetect target or entire frame, as you can see with white box. The algorithm demonstrated robustness against object disappearance and changes in illumination and viewing geometry. The advantage of the developed algorithms is that it does not require extensive training data, such as techniques based on deep learning. The objective of anomaly detection is to identify patterns in data that do not conform to a well-defined normal pattern of life. Here you can see the simulated trajectories representing one pattern with up to 15 normal paths. In total, 225 trajectories were simulated to examine the trajectories for trajectory clustering. The trajectory clustering results are shown in this figure. Different clusters and normal pattern of lives are represented by different colors, where arrow shows the direction. The clustering was performed with dbscan method. It divides each trajectory into segments of equal size, and then each segment is used to calculate distance between each point. Based on this clustered normal patterns of life, five testing trajectories were simulated to examine the clustering results with the following abnormal patterns shown in figure on the right. Such patterns include driving in opposite direction, frequently changing lines, and others. The simulated trajectories were tested with dbscan method, and all trajectories were correctly identified. Thank you for your attention. Ask me if you have any questions.